Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around it's for the 18 ounce three wick Enchanted Peony candle from Homeworks by Harry Slacken. This is the original 2018 release with the Made in the USA three wicks. Uh, I think somebody on an Instagram live was asking me my thoughts on this, and that sort of like triggered that I don't have a review of this candle up on my channel anymore. So I was like, let me do a review on this. This is actually probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite fragrance from Homeworks. And I was like, oh, I don't have a review for that up on my channel. Uh, and it is available again this spring. So I was like, let me review this just to get it out there in case somebody was wondering what this smell like. And here we go. So the notes on this read, velvet peony, pink camellia, leafy greens, golden amber, and fresh blackberry. Yes, oh my gosh, this is excellent. It's like truly a masterpiece. Uh, it reminds me of just like a very high-end like luxury English fragrance, like an English like perfume or something. It's simply excellent. Um, like this definitely rivals like higher-end luxury fragrances. Like I could see myself like if Joe Malone or Diptyque or somebody released a fragrance like this, like I would be so tempted to spend the $70 on a single wick candle. Uh, but here we have it in a Homeworks three or four wick version. So there's that. So what does this smell like? It, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. It's like the peony fragrance of your dreams. It really has that like floral romantic quality to it that you would uh, associate with like a peony or rose fragrance. Peony often has a similar like romantic floral quality to a rose, but it's often a little bit lighter uh, and a little bit more green, a little bit fresh and a little less like quote unquote like mature powdery rose that people tend to dislike about rose. It kind of eliminates that and gives it a little bit more of a sweeter, greener, fresher and lighter quality to it. Uh, and I still get that here too. And I love like rose and peony fragrances. This is totally on my alley. So you definitely get a romantic, beautiful, peony type of fragrance once again think of rose but a little bit lighter a little bit maybe green um, and not quite as like stuffy heavy perfumey or powdery but still in that romantic floral quality nonetheless uh, you get that and then it does say leafy greens in there and once again I said peony usually tends to lean a little bit I, I guess greener in some cases uh, the thing is with a lot of peony fragrances that have smelled in different you know fragrance oils and other companies they tend to have like a plastic quality to it that I guess is supposed to amp up that green quality uh, but I don't get any of that weird plasticky quality to this Enchanted Peony from Homeworks so I love that it's like really a great juicy peony fragrance and there is definitely like a velvety softness to it uh, and then you get a juicy sweetness to it that I would assume is from the blackberry uh, it's not at all like the blackberry that we all know from Bath and Body Works it's just overly fruity and like juicy in a like synthetic kind of like drink cocktail fragrance not a lot at all like that a little bit more of a natural sweet tartness of that blackberry is mixed in with the peony just to give it a little bit more of a fruity more palatable and less floral but still sweet and juicy twist to it and I really enjoy that so once again it's not at all like that sort of like overly candy artificial berry that we get so much from Bath and Body Works uh it's a lot more subtle and well balanced uh in this version uh and just wrap that all together and it's like this super awesome romantic like English floral fragrance I could definitely really see this as like an English like perfume fragrance uh that has a very romantic but still sweet uh and distinctly like pink and feminine pretty vibe to it that I love so so much. Um, if I had to compare it to anything from like Bath and Body Works, I would say maybe like Tea Rose is a comparable fragrance in the sense that it has that uh, sort of like floral quality that you would get from a rose fragrance mixed with still that sort of fresh greenness. I would say Tea Rose is probably the most similar thing, but this one's a little bit sweeter and more juicy than Tea Rose is, but still in the same fragrance family nonetheless. Uh, and there's also a slight like peppery quality to this as well that I always smell and pick up. I don't really know what note it's coming from, but it gives it like this sharpness or like a defined, I don't know, just like edge or crispness to it as well. Uh, and there's like a slight peppery quality to this, but I really don't mind that either. Uh, it's just, it's just absolutely delicious and perfect. I love this fragrance. Uh, it's still definitely one of my favorite fragrances from Homeworks, if not my favorite. So nothing but good things to say about this fragrance. Loved it when it first came out and I still enjoy it. I still have many like backups of this original version that I haven't bought the new label version but I'm enjoying this one while it exists here and let me get into the performance 
This, I don't know, I've had this since 2018, so I don't know how many day burns it is at this point, but you can see it's pretty much done. You can see those massive wick, clip, wick clips on there on those three wicks. Uh, in true, like, you know, 2018 golden era homeworks fashion, this was just flawless perfection. Uh, never had any hang up, just pulled out beautifully and gorgeously. It didn't overly soot. The wicks were super sturdy, uh, just perfection all the way down to the bottom. You see how clean that wax pole is, uh, just excellent. Uh, as for the throw, uh, this one's just very medium for me. I always wished it was stronger, but it's just kind of like how the homework candles perform, honestly. Uh, it's always just in a very medium range. I would say anywhere from a four to a five. Uh, can definitely smell it adequately and deliciously in a bedroom to like a solid medium. Uh, sometimes it gets lost in an open concept area that's more down to like a four type of range that I still wish it was stronger more in like the six to seven range. Uh, but the fragrance is so beautiful and delicate and delicious that I still kind of put up with it. So just very medium on this fragrance uh, but a lot of times people complain about how strong and heavy and intense and powdery like a lot of rose type of floral romantic fragrances are so you might enjoy this one in the sense that it's not so heavy and intense as the heavier rose type fragrances so it could be interpreted that way as well Overall, if you like those romantic, delicate, uh, peony, rosy type of floral, like pink, feminine quality type of fragrances, like I do myself, definitely check this out. I haven't burned the Four Wake New Made in Vietnam version, so I can't at all vouch for the performance, but assuming the fragrance is still the same, I would, and it's the Four Wakes generally perform like decently nowadays, that I would still think that it's still close enough to what I'm smelling here, uh, that I would still recommend the the fragrance on the fragrance alone. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you've burned this one before and if you like it or if you don't, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.